Welcome to Sam and Fang Cooking. In this video, I'll show you how to make Crunchwrap Supremes that are way better than Taco Bell, in flavor and texture. They may seem complicated, but it's actually really fast and easy to put together. To get started, let's prep the ingredients. Dice up half an onion into small pieces. Shred around two cups of iceberg lettuce. Grate one cup of cheddar cheese. And dice one tomato. Add one pound of ground beef and the chopped onion to a pan on medium heat. Break up the beef as it cooks. Once it's cooked all the way through, drain the fat if you have any. Clearly, I have a lot. Season with salt and pepper to taste and add half a package of taco seasoning. If you like it more spicy, add a full package. Add a quarter cup of water and cook for a few minutes until the water has evaporated. Add it to a bowl and set aside for later. We need to make a top, so using a tostada as a guide, I'm cutting around it to make a small tortilla from my 10 inch one. It's even better if you buy smaller tortillas so you won't have to do this step. Of course, use up the scraps. I'll be frying mine to make chips. Working one at a time, place ground beef mixture in the center of each 10 inch tortilla. A 12 inch tortilla will work too. Top with this Tostitos Nacho Cheese Dip, or any cheese dip you can find, but this one is the best. Add a tostada on top and spread sour cream in an even layer on top. Now add a layer of tomato, lettuce, then cheese. Add the small tortilla on top, give it a light press, and fold the bottom tortilla up and over the center. Continue to work around the tortilla, folding as tight as possible. Heat up a pan on medium heat and spray with pan. Place the wrap seam side down and cook until golden brown. Flip and cook the other side until golden brown. Cut in half and serve right away to keep the crispiness. This version is really simple and you can easily switch up the ingredients. Maybe use chicken instead of ground beef or other ground meats. Try different cheeses. You can really make it your own. Let us know in the comments below if you try this recipe. Thanks for watching! Bye!